Nancy Sullivan is a professional actress, talk show host, commercial and cartoon voice actress, sketch comedian, direct response host, and has been called America's favorite mom for her well-loved role on Nickelodeon smash hitcom Drake and Josh. Nancy, Nancy Sullivan is here. You must be exhausted after that intro. <laughs> How do you have time to do anything else? Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Now, who I'm called good. you America's favorite mom? It was me, right? I started that phrase? Well, yes, it was <laughs> you. Because I wanted you as a mom? Is that uh, what it was? Yes. <laughs> no, my mom, I love her too much. Really? Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to be your mom, Tom. <laughs> well, you have done a lot. Huh? Thank yes, you. Yes, you have. But, am... but we're going to get to all that. Okay. Okay, first we're going to start back to how we came to know each other. Do you remember? Well, yes, I do, but I want to go before that even. Okay. Because you knew my wife long did, before yeah. you knew me, right? Mm -hmm. Was that New York? I knew Claudia in New York. We did a, a, a very um, a short film project together. We played sisters. Ah. I was the bad sister, and she was the good sister. You were the bad sister. She uh -huh. was the good. So it was typecasting. Yes, exactly. Yes. That's before you got your mitts on her, though, and changed her <laughs> And bad. I ruined her? Yes, totally. So you knew her. You all were friends. And I remember hearing about you. Really? And then we met... Do you want to share? I met you at an audition. Oh, well, I you don't, probably don't remember. I don't that. remember that. It was in that. some yard on the west side. But then we did uh, the, the, the strangest job. strangest job <laughs> I have ever had in my life. Right? That was really weird. And in, in a nutshell, it was spying on a rival cruise ship. We were hired by Princess, Princess. Cruise Lines yes. to go on the Royal, Royal Caribbean. Caribbean ship. Mm -hmm. And to videotape things to show how that ship wasn't <laughs> great, right? Yeah, and it yeah. was a brand new ship. It was huge. First voyage. Yeah. And so they were assuming it was going to be terrible because it would be crowded exactly. and all that. And then we were supposed to, after that, go on the Princess Cruise Line. On the good ship. The good ship. Mm -hmm. And then they were going to do a comparison. So that's the setup, right? Absolutely. Okay, so tell everybody what happened. Well, I remember we were... Uh, We'd be in our um, rooms and they'd call us. They'd be like, get down, get down. It's really crowded at the pool. Because this no is seats. undercover. Yeah, it was total spying. It was like the producer, director, us two, and maybe the, one of the, the, the client. client. We were acting like we were old buddies from college. <laughs> and there was one a, person that couldn't come. Yeah, we had a really bad story that we were making a film for someone who we used to share in a apartment. That was our cover. With. Yeah, but we didn't really have it very well. And so the people that we <laughs> ate dinner with every night. Were confused. These poor people. And they would ask different things and we'd give them different answers every night. Like the writer Jeff said that we lived in a very small Moorish complex, and I didn't know that. And I said, "Oh, it's this huge thing called the Oakwood." And the woman goes, "Well, that's not what Jeff said." And I'm like, "Yeah, well, Jeff, right. you can't listen to Jeff." Right. So, but we, it was a ball. Wasn't it was it? a lot of fun. It was like the the, the most fun, easiest job because we work like five minutes a day. I know, but what happened on the second cruise though? The, the second cruise never happened. Never happened because because a good glowing review <laughs> came out for the first ship, and they were just going to have egg on their face. Well, they looked at the footage. And there, it wasn't too crowded. No. It would look like the best thing ever. Yeah. And they're like, what are we going to compare against? So we we got screwed out of the second cruise. We got paid, though. Did we? Yeah. Oh, well, then I'll I did. Time. Oh, okay. Maybe my agent? Is my <laughs> agent around somewhere? Your agent's my agent. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it was like, we'll never have anything like that again. No, it was very no. weird. But we did work again together, right? Was it one We worked other? together like four times. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm we embarrassed. We did that. I know. I have a wicked memory. Okay, so you better tell be me. Careful. Tell me. Then we did... Um, we did an industrial at a car dealership for like Infinity or Lexus or something. Me? You don't remember? You no, and I? Nothing. Oh, thanks. Nothing's gone. <laughs> well, I'm getting old. Uh, yes, I remember, true. Nancy. You were wonderful. In I that project. was. I was. We were. I remember we were standing at a podium in a car dealership. So, hmm. anyway, and then we've done a couple direct response shows. Yes, we have. I know. I remember one. What? Uh, you only remember one? I, well, I, maybe I remember both, but I definitely remember uh, home, Hometics, the yeah. breathe. It was like good scent in the air. Yeah, and I did the all that the heavy Cesare lifting. And you, you just stood there and looked cute and went, tell me more. <laughs> That's because you're more talented than I Drive that. I had the polo shirt on. Yeah. Sort of. You got more money, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, look at him. What was the other job we did? You tell me. Oh, gosh. Now we're going to be here with blank, <laughs> blank space forever. I'm acting like your wife, honey. Yeah. So it was called the Obus Ultra yeah. Form. And it was, oh, the back thing. It was a back of course. rest. What do you mean, of course? Well, I don't remember <laughs> because it didn't like have any big... And it was a Con kid. Air Yeah, thing. it should have worked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was great. I still have it in my car, actually. You know, oh, is that what... That's what I'm using. Yeah. Oh, I love that Seriously? product. That's the I forgot the name of it. I swear to you. It's on my it's in my chair at my desk. I'd love it. And you didn't remember. I don't remember yeah, the they name gave of us, it. I, I, they gave me yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, mm-hmm. well, and every time now, I take my car and I get work done, the guy's like, hey, this is really nice. I know with the improv, the sketch stuff is yeah. something that you've done a I've lot done of. I've done sketch comedy. T- talk about that a little bit. Well, I always wanted to be on Saturday Night Live, and that, that's, You'd have been great. The, that's the holy yeah, grail, course, right? But I did get my versions in a way. Yes. Because I got to do a show called The News, which was a syndicated sketch show, and we actually did I almost 100 show. episodes. Do you remember The of News? Of course I remember it. Are you serious? It's before I knew you. Yeah. But I remember watching, and that's when Claudia said, that's Nancy Sullivan. Oh. I'm like, oh, my gosh, It was a great. funny show, wasn't it? it was very, uh, do you remember any characters you did on that show? I do a Sharon Osbourne, oh. though. It sounds a little bit like it, Tom, my sweetheart, my darling. Wow. And uh, I don't know if I did that on that show, but I've been doing that. I just got uh, cast in an animated movie. You do with a lot that of voice, yeah. Really? Yeah, I do a lot of animation. I did yeah. a cartoon called Squirrel Boy for Cartoon Network a couple of years ago. My daughter and worked on it too, so I know the show. I think Lexi I got her the job. And I you, suggested I her did. to the casting director, Donna Grillo. Yes, and we send you 10% every time there's an episode, don't we? Oh, I wish. That's right, Lexi worked on <laughs> yes, that. Yes, she did. On Squirrel Boy, I played the mother and I talked sort of like this. Oh, Andy. I wasn't talking to you, Rodney. I was talking to Andy. Today's a very important day for him. And then, of course, there's always this lady that sort of smokes too much. Yeah. You know, Tom will be that in a few years. Ooh, that's creepy. Even though I don't smoke. <laughs> that's scary, though. I know. I look so innocent and wholesome, don't I? A lot of people know you best for, especially the younger generation. I mentioned it before, the mom on Drake and Josh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My daughter couldn't believe I knew her. Really? Oh, yes. Uh, t- tell us about that show. Well, you know what's bit. crazy about that? Drake and Josh. Um, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Yep. Big sitcom. We won Kids Choice Award for Favorite Show two, two three course. times. It was an ensemble of five. Before that, I had done the Amanda show, uh, Amanda Bynes sketch show, and the two boys they were so great together that they gave them a, a show, oh, and I went along as the mom, which was fantastic. Nickelodeon just hired me. So we were a family, and, and it, it was just wonderful because it was kind of like the Cheers or the Seinfeld of kids' TV. I mean, oh, yeah. it was that big. Yeah. And the thing that's funny is they still replay it. Nickelodeon runs these reruns forever. So I have fans today who are five years old, and I have fans over 30. Let's get to the infomercials because I don't want to run out of time. I know. And not address direct response I with know. you, right? Exactly. Okay, so what do you love most? most about the direct response infomercial world. Absolutely the most fun is dealing with the inventors. When I do a product hey, and that's I get what this show is. But absolutely I, I was yeah. talking to to the guy in the, Roderick? In the um yeah. Roderick. I was talking to him for a while while mm-hmm. you were busy with the other inventor and when you get someone who has a product that they I mean people who see the end result they don't realize how hard these people have worked. Oh yeah. And they have put their there are blood, sweat, and tears into it, and I love it because it comes out of a need, usually a need for themselves or a family member. Sometimes it's very emotional, isn't it? Yeah. And to be able to be part of the ensemble, part of the team that makes their dream come true and hopefully you know, profitable and they get rich off it and it, it fulfills a need for the consumer, I love that. Yeah. I love that collaboration. Mm-hmm. And I want to capture the enthusiasm when I work of that person and make them feel you know, that, yeah. that, that I'm invested in their product too. It's, it's really great. So when you when you're hosting a show, yeah. what is Nancy Sullivan bringing to it? What are your strengths? Come on, talk about yourself, uh, and then I'll tell. That's the, not and then I'll difficult. tell the truth. Well, I'm quick on my feet. Like if they want to change and they want something, they want some improvisation. Here you go. Yeah. I'm also I know that I bring a warmth and an authenticity. Thus and the mom, like that. the mom, the thing. mom thing. Yeah. Exactly. I know there's a believability, a credibility. I, I'm just going off of what people tell me. Does that come from you having so many kids? Where does that come from? I don't have any kids that I know of, Wait a minute. Tom. You played a mom yeah. on a big sitcom, and yeah. you're not really a mom? No. Is that is that legal? Can you I, do that? I might be a mom. I might get a <laughs> knock on the door one of these days. Like from 20, 28-year-old? You never know. You never know. I I, I had a couple of strange? year-long blackouts. You did, all <laughs> kinds of things could have happened that I wasn't even aware of. There's so much to draw on as a parent. Did you just watch other parents, or where were you getting I that am from? nearly 13 years older than my little brother. So you were like a mom. When you I was there. built-in babysitter. That was my title. I changed. It's still all. not I, the same. I look I don't at think. him, and he is a big old man now. And I'm like, yeah. I changed your diapers, and someday you might be changing. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's our big joke. I know it's disgusting. That's similar to the product we just talked about. In a minute. I know. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we'll, did you we'll, mo- ta- we'll talk did about you that. Did you model in a that? Oh. Did I model it? Yeah. I'm I'm wearing one right now. <laughs> How's I it am. working for you? Hold on a second. <laughs> I didn't need to see that. What do you think of I that? Say, what do you, you think of the gotta go? Can you tell us your take on I it? I think it's actually really cool. Would you wear it if you were a guy? Yeah. You'd sit at the football game and just, I'd try just to, go? I'd try to make that work for me right now, right <laughs> under this dress. 
<laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> All of a sudden, we went somewhere else. Uh-huh. Okay, let's let's can we go back to direct response? Yes. So we don't get way off track. I know. Okay, so what can a marketer do? Somebody that hires you. Yeah. To make you the very best host on the set you can be. Ah, uh, we should be very familiar with the product. Okay. You know. Yeah. We that, should. That does help. Yeah, and absolutely, we should uh, have it in time to. F- Finagle, finesse, Always my play with line. it, and they not should, the night before. They should also make sure their product is working, <laughs> that it's not some ridiculous prototype that we have to pantomime. Because I don't no. feel confident, and I don't think anybody does. And you know what? Those are a waste of money. Those are shows that don't work. Yeah. What do you think makes a good product? I think a good product is something that obviously comes from a need that there is a need and that people can relate to. I think it's a relatable product. I think it's also great when it's something that has a, a little bit of an angle that we haven't seen before. All right, so you sent me, I asked you to give me some facts about yourself. You took guitar lessons from a Brit named Andy. I mean, what, what I did. A, yeah, so what? He had purple velvet pants. Okay. And I remember I, he was so bored with me at one point that he was picking his nose. I caught him picking his nose. Nice. And I really remembered that about him. So I was like a little kid. Years later, mm-hmm must have been high school or something. I find out he is in a band called The Police. Wait, and the he's police? the guitarist. His no. name is Andy Summers. And Because a friend of mine who used to take guitar lessons said, what do you think of our old teacher? Because well, I thought if he can go from picking his nose <laughs> with a bored 10-year-old to being in the freaking police. How did that happen? There is hope for me. Yes. And, and it's worked. I hung in there. And here I am on the pitch. <laughs> you made it all the way to the top. I, ma- I slept my way to the middle. I was with all the wrong people. Episode four. I... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I had to die. Sorry. Not, let's not talk about that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Digging yourself in deeper. <laughs> okay. You are actually are very adept at modern dance. Yes, I am. And I was. something about standing up a long time. Who cares? I can, you can stand see on one leg for a really long oh, time. Oh, one leg. You know, I got to dance. What has that done for you? I can put my pants on without hopping around the room. You have strong feelings about dunking food into liquid. Yeah. When people dunk What's the problem? donuts into coffee and yeah. little blobs of donut and it's all juicy and yeah, it's I good. think that's disgusting. Really? Yeah. Th- food doesn't look it You doesn't eat cereal? Belong. Sometimes. Is it cereal and milk? Are you not one of those that eats I it without the milk? I keep my milk and I put it in in increments no, so you that it don't. stays crunchy. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> you gave me this information. I, and I'm, you know what? All right, let's move on. You said something earlier about my dog Toby, my sweet little Yorkie Toby, 10 pounds. Your obsession, that, Toby. That I rock to sleep every single night. You I love him so, so much. You are so secure in your masculinity because <laughs> you turn into a blubbering idiot with that dog. I can't even tell you. When How he much ha- does he weigh? He weighs about 10 pounds, 8 ounces. 10 pounds. Depends, it depends. 10 we, pounds, 8 ounces? What is he, a newborn? <laughs> How gone, was your labor? Was it okay? <laughs> if we go on vacation, he loses weight. Because was it a C-section? <laughs> I'm not telling those he details. He loses weight because he misses you? Yes. Okay, but you have a dog. I that, do. And you and have she weighs realized. 10 pounds. I don't know how many ounces. And I'm she, sorry. like, beat up my dog on a she play date. She did. If she came over now, she would never do that. She just, she'll sniff him and then ignore him because she's grown up. It's like every woman. Like like I do to you. I <laughs> sniff you and then ignore you. God. Okay, well, here's the deal. Yeah. I am casting a new show. I could yeah. use a mom type, yeah. you know, about your, your look and yeah, age yeah, and so yeah, forth. Yeah. There's one skill, though, that yeah. the character has to have. What? They have to be able, you ready? She's going to say yes to anything because she's an actress, to play the ukulele. Now, is that something that you think you could pull off is play the ukulele? What? What do you What do you got? Like. How How did that happen? <laughs> How on earth was that ukulele sitting back there? Thank you, Andy Summers. <laughs> Can I play us out? Is this of what you learned from Andy? Yes. He would actually be proud because I was terrible. You can play us out of our segment if mm-hmm. you would like. Yes. Go ahead. Are you going to sing to I him? have words, yeah. Oh, go, go for Special it. Special song. Tom hasn't heard this yet. No, I haven't. Bring your products, your great new products. They might be on TV. Bring your products, your awesome products. They might be pitched by me. <laughs> Tom. No, Tom Jordan brings you the pitch because marketing can be a bitch. He really has a plan. <laughs> He's the guy who's in the know. He just might help your business grow. Tom Jordan is the man. Tom, Tom, Tom Jordan. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. And cut. cut.